fail to see how being a lawyer is more dangerous than channeling dead people. <laughs> He's, he said it. He yep. said it. Anyway. I love how the criminal affairs department is in static as though we haven't been there before. Not time we haven't. <clears throat> huh. January 6th, detention center visitor's room. So nerve-wracking, waiting to meet our new client. Is he a new client or an old client? I wonder just what kind of person you tricked and got found guilty. Stop accusing me, fuckhead! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Misha made that not for long so ominous. Welcome to my life. <laughs> Being a lawyer is dangerous if you're representing bed turters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're not comfortable with that, so uh, maybe won't make too many jokes about it. Thank you. K keep it down, Maya. That kind of talk could ruin me. Uh. I got this. Oh my How god! How could you? How could you, Mr. Wright? How could you do this to me? Can't believe Magatha was here this whole time. They put me in solitary! I haven't been able to stop crying! Yo, know, I'm glad I got you back for this, because I was really sad you couldn't voice her the last time she appeared. Uh, sorry. No, it's okay. You, you, you were freezing. I remember. I was. Uh, aren't you... Baggy Jerd? Is that your name? Totally and utterly let down! If Maya keeps up this accusation of Phoenix, I'm going to leave! <laughs> Maya is not known for having all of her brain cells together. Hmm. You're... are you? Don't pretend you don't know me! It's me, Maggie! Remember? Maggie Bird? Your voice for her sounds very similar to that random nameless female cop from Turnabout Goodbyes. And that's awesome. Sure. Sure. The, the, that's that's canon now. Maggie Bird was here this whole time. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> Maggie Bird. Oh right, you're that weird chick from that one time with the bananas. Man, right after Gumshoe was caught flirting with Phoenix. Hmm. 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 Maggie Bird. She's the policewoman. I've defended that one time. <laughs> She was accused of murdering her lover. He was a cop, too. What are you doing here? Didn't I get you a quick- Oh, sure. Very funny. After that fifth-rate defense job, you come in here and start making jokes? You're a fifth-rate lawyer with a sixth-rate deck! <laughs> You're a... You better hurry up and tell her what happened, Nick! You better apologize for getting her found guilty and making her a murderer! It wasn't me, it was the Titans! Oh, I see. So that's where we stand right now. I'm sorry you've been caught up in another murder. My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures! I vaguely remember her saying the exact same thing last time. In my life. Ah, uh, yes, the <laughs> the millennial struggle. <laughs> At least now the real Mr. Wright is here with me. I won't let the world keep me down, sir. Uh, let's compulsively save some more. Compulsively save! <clears throat> Excuse me. Habitual saving. Hells yeah. Tell me about yourself, person I've met before. <clears throat> You're dressed like that, Maggie. Last year you looked so sharp in that police uniform. Yeah, she had like the little feathers on it because she's a bird. I was fired after that incident last year. That's a good Maggie face. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I don't mind one bit. <laughs> I didn't like being the cop any 
always. I didn't like being a bastard. I, I enjoyed being on the force, but I, I think it was time for me to move on. You know, like, my, my dad says that I'm a failure, but I, I think that I'm just moving on to bigger and better pastures and finding out what I really need to be doing out there. Because being a cop just wasn't for me, you know? Like, I, I really just felt like I was part of the problem. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you like a hug, Maggie? No, don't touch me. Okay. Damn, I was gonna do the bit of him like you know, going in for the hug and then smacking face first into the glass. <laughs> no. Can't believe you anti my bit like that. Misha laughing like she did just then makes me have horror game flashbacks. Well done. Thank you. Oh man, we should play a horror game at some point. Anyway. No, I'm so bad at horror <laughs> games. I cry. I'll it's okay. cry. So so am I. <laughs> well, we can cry together. Good. Uh, reminder that the giant guy that calls you Little Pig in Outlast is canonically from New Zealand, so he could just come and kill me at any time. Be safe. Uh, we'll try. So, what do you do now? In the second act of The Life of Maggie Bird, I'm playing the role of a waitress. Definitely not at a maid cafe. Nope. I thought Nothing it's... like that. I misread that as witness and was like, again? <laughs> <laughs> a waitress? What the fuck is that? That? Must be, that must be fun. After being a cop? Yes, in a French restaurant. Fully not a maid cafe. <laughs> it's quite small. It's a small place, but it's quite fashionable. Huh? Yeah, fashionable. Not a maid cafe. I believe you. Oh, Kathleen wants us to play Fatal Frame. I think it's called Project Zero in, New Zealand, in the PAL version. Okay. Oh, guess what I found got ported to a whole bunch of systems. What? Is it Fatal Frame? Charming smile and shapely figure came through for me. No comment. And the owner, Mr. Armstrong, hired me straight away, sir! I like that she still salutes. It's cute. Yeah, it is cute. And then you got into this mess, like, literally seconds later, right? Uh, you put it that way. <laughs> so this happened on December 5th, right? Where and you said you were hired on the, December 4th? The, the trial did. Oh. Damn it. Happened, yeah, on December 5th. Oh. No, less, the, the murder and her being hired all happened, like, within a day of each other. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds about, like, this character's life. Shift one. <laughs> so what happened? This whole mess started on the 3rd of last month. Damn it. The, so the 3rd of December. Those are our dates. Cool. So she, she got hired on the 3rd, and then the murder happened on the 4th, and then the trial happened on the 5th. Done. I guess. <laughs> happened at Trebion. 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 What? To infinity. Trebion. Do, 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 do you carry the drink trays beyond? Phoenix just sort of pats my on the head. I. What? Okay. Is that is that like Lesbos? <laughs> is that like Lesbos? <laughs> Fatal Frame 5 got poured to the Switch, PS4 and 5, and Xbox One, as well as Series X and S. I think someone said it also got poured to PC via Steam. Do I need to have played 1 through 4, which I didn't even know that there was more than 3? It's a restaurant where good service and a friendly smile are always included. Yeah, I know what a McDonald's Definitely is, Definitely not Maggie. a big cafe. <laughs> oh... There were two men at the table, both drinking coffee. Why does that man have a scouter? To check Phoenix Wright's power levels. And it's, then... It's significantly less than 9,000. Significantly. Mm, it's like three. That's going to be the final deciding evidence, is that the fake Phoenix's power levels are lower than actual Phoenix's. Mm. What if the men slip some poison into the victim's cup? Was it mistletoe? Yeah. The victim took just one sip and was gasping for air. <clears throat> I was so shocked I passed out. 
Hey, hold on there, Maggie. No, playing the previous games isn't needed. Good. What? You keep calling the guy the victim. Didn't you know the guy who was killed? Not at all. I've never seen the guy before. Oh. Man, you are carrying the scene. So she wouldn't have had a motive to kill him then, I guess. I love switching back and forth between two voices quickly. Is that sarcasm or? I actually do love it. I was being, it came out more sarcastic than I meant it to. Fair enough. I'm glad you do then. And the other man, the killer, you saw him, right? Of course. A good waitress must be attentive to the clientele, not a maid cafe. <laughs> my bit for today. Oh, well, Maggie does not work in a maid cafe. I know what this episode's gonna be called. <laughs> so you saw the killer, but you were found guilty of the crime anyway? How come? Is it because you work in a maid cafe? I don't work in a maid cafe. <laughs> you told me, Mr. Wright. Ah! Guess the answer to I guess the answer to my question is my phony. My little phony. My little phony. My little phony. <laughs> um, well, it's funny because I'm here like thinking like, man, my Maggie voice could be a passable Fluttershy impression. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, she saw the killer. Better see if I can get a description of the guy. Uh, I've, I he I've heard a Fluttershy abridged uh, voice where... She has like a vocal tick where she says yes all the time. And she goes, Fluttershy's best gamer there is, yes. And My the, goodness. Yeah, it's great. I don't I'm know. I'm not going to do that. Oh, okay. Yeah, make Maggie sound like that. <laughs> I think I'm good. Maggie did not kill client, victim, yes. <laughs> Maggie, what does not work at Maid Cafe, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I hope the guy who does that doesn't see this. So, uh, you saw the murderer. Why were you still convicted? Because no one else saw. Saw what? Exactly. The other man. The one who put the poison in the victim's coffee. Everyone testified that way. Mr. Armstrong, the customer, everyone. The victim was sitting alone at his table. Victim was sitting alone at his <laughs> table the whole time. <laughs> that was so awful in that little voice. <sighs> you don't have to do her doing the growly voice. Just switch to your normal voice and do it. The, vic the victim was sitting alone at his table the whole time. Exactly. Perfect. You're welcome. With his stupid fucking scouter. But how's that possible? I don't know. But nobody, not one person would believe me, sir. Even Phoenix Wright, my one last hope for a fair trial, failed me. What a pathetic defense. My granny could have done a better job. She's dead. <laughs> and she was eaten by a wolf. What? <laughs> I'm just, I have musical brain rot right now, and like anytime I see Granny, I'm like, I'm thinking of Into the Woods. She was run which over is by like her Little reindeer. Red Riding Hood. By, R Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, that wasn't me, okay? Uh, brief aside, you know that the whole thing of like, we're the daughters of the witches you couldn't burn? Oh, what about it? Uh, we're the daughters of the grannies who were run over- who you couldn't run over with a reindeer. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that wasn't me, okay? That- They found something a bit incriminating. They found something a bit incriminating. <laughs> My apron pocket! Was it... was it poison? Was it poison? What? What did they find? Was it poison? A small bottle... of poison. Was it made poison? There'd be made poison at a place that's definitely not a maid cafe! 
What? P poison? It was in your pocket? Well, they passed out when the victim collapsed. The killer must have slipped the poison into my pocket when I was unconscious. Why did you pass out along with the victim? It was free! Oh, yeah. I look it. Uh huh, you with your shapely figure. I don't like that. I like that you said that that way. I'm being sarcastic. I'm not being. Creepy. I know. <laughs> I was being in character. I know. <laughs> I'm. In any other context, if I were voicing her, I'd, instead of shapely figure, I'd just been like, in my thick ass! No! Leave Maggie alone! She's so pure and baby! She's the one who said shapely figure! That's why she got hired. Oh. That's probably what they told her at the interview. They're like, yeah, you've got a shapely figure. We'll hire you at this definitely not a maid cafe. Yeah. So Mag Maggie is like listing all her actual good qualities about why she's a hard worker, and the guy's just like, "Well, I don't know about any of that, but you got a thick ass, baby." Pro yeah, probably. Oh, whoops! I yeah, and then and then he does the that monster is, condom thing. That is that is how servers get hired. Yep. <laughs> it's, how, it's how I got hired. No, it isn't. <laughs> and no one else saw this other guy. what everyone said, but I don't think they could have missed him. He was right there. With his spiky hair. And he had a hair. really tacky haircut. Hey. <laughs> what? Mm. Also, your mic's like cutting out every so often. Oh, no. I'm sorry. This voice is probably like not suited for it. I'll move a little bit closer. Uh, it was happening with Maya as well. Okay. Well, Thanks. I will be here instead then. Thank you. Thank you for the note. The no. other guy. I love the that. The other, who was the other guy, Maggie? I was the one who took the coffee to the two men. Uh, oh? And what was your impression of them? Well, when I first saw them, I kind of thought they might be in the mu- in the music industry. In music? How come? Compulsive saving. Will save oh my me. god, it's been 10 minutes since I saved. <laughs> we could have lost all that data. We could have. Well, one of them had some sort of earpiece and an emo musician's look about it. <laughs> like he, I, I thought he was about to start singing about a black parade or something. Yes, I was <laughs> about to make that joke! I got you. One brain cell. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. You probably won't hear this. Hopefully you do, but... Turn up the volume and. Do you hear that? I don't. I don't hear it. Whatever you're doing. Oh, I I pulled out the piano app on my phone and played a G note. And you went, dum. Yep. Dum dum dum. Yeah, great. When I was a young boy. No. <laughs> Fucking Gerard Way looking ass. A, and there was a sample CD on the table, sir. It's his mixtape. It's real fire. <laughs> An earpiece and a sample CD, huh? Did you get a look at the CD at all? No. <laughs> it had a band's name. It had a band's name <laughs> written on it. it. It was something stupid like our chemistry love story. That was awful. I need to, I, I, I'll do that again later. <laughs> what's, a, what's a synonym for chemical? I don't know. Huh. Bruh! I think it was... MC. Something. They must have been preparing for their debut, I guess. Or their comeback. So it was a band CD. Maybe a promo disc? Maybe it was MC Screwdriver. Why would that Maya, be... that was bad. Maya, that was bad. Is that a real band? I don't think I get it. Uh, MC Hammer. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake. You might not be able to touch this. Da na 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 na. 
Jesus, get serious, Maya. Would you buy the city of a group named that? Group again, MC Hacksaw? No, no, no. MC um Anvil. And what about the killer? What did he look like? God damn it! I um I don't really remember. Only that he was a young man. Well, felt like the victim, really. Oh, so he also had a shapely figure, a thick booty. I didn't see that. I wasn't looking. Uh-huh. Were you not looking in the same way that you don't work at a maid cafe? I wasn't looking. Um, do I give her my attorney's back? Oh, wait, no, do I give her this? Always. Oh, yeah, I need to ask you about this. <clears throat> this article's about my case! Can you tell me anything about the guy who's pretending to be me? Yes, sir! It was the morning after I'd been arrested. I met you in the visitor's room here. You were wearing one of your super sharp suits. Look at Super those... sharp suits, super sharp suits, super sharp suits. Amazing. <laughs> Look at the bags under Poenix's eyes. He's just tired. He is yeah. so... Let Phoenix take a nap. Yeah, he hasn't slept since the DL6 incident. <laughs> Me? You, Mr. Wright. What with your red skin? <sighs> hey, Maggie. Was my evil devil I am there too? Y yes, I am. And her... Surprisingly, a live sister. Yef. Aim. I don't remember a phony you, Maya. Oh. It would have been so cool. Maya, no! The, the cool thing about the evil double Maya is that she would have been useful. Dabs. She could have framed- Maya could have framed her for murder. Yeah. <laughs> Evil Maya gets framed for murder, but it turns out she was actually the murderer. You got really worked up and passionate. I'm gonna get you clear to this crime, you said. I'm gonna get you clear to this crime! Uh, there you go, that's the voice. That's the voice. Danny DeVito, again. Okay, I get the picture, but you've met me in person before. So how come you didn't realize that guy wasn't the real me? I guess... Looking back now, it was a little strange. Only a little? Okay, so you were a bit taller than normal, and you looked a bit shady. Burn on Maya from Dark, eh? And your voice was a bit weird. Oh, and you had this kind of funny accent and- So this guy was nothing like me then! No, he was- he was just like you, except for all those things I just said that weren't like you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Misha, one of my co-workers looks exactly like you, except she's shorter and she's Chinese and she has a Kiwi accent and she's a man. Oh, okay, yeah, I totally understand why you might get us mixed up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> your spiky hair and blue suit! That's it! That's all you need to be Phoenix Wright is spiky blue hair and blue suit. It's all you need to be Misha's voice is to be brown and... Uh... What are your pronouns again? She, they. Yeah, that. That's it. Alright, I didn't say my pronouns at the start of the stream. I use she and they squad. Thank. He. Sorry, it's, I, I, it's been a while and I forgot. I'm sorry. No, I also forgot. <laughs> Mine are he and they, by the way. Nice. Hey. Yeah, so that's that's all you need to be, Misha. Be brown and use she, they pronouns. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those two yeah, things. <laughs> big pants. Wear big flowy pants. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that all it takes for someone to imitate me? Yeah, that's it. 
How uh, about everyone else in the courtroom, like the judge and the observers? Could they not tell? Is, my, everybody, is everybody who works in the Japan of you legal system blind? Maya, were you here at the last case? We had to explain to the judge like 50 different things every time the situation changed. Oh my god, Maggie beat him. Every character in the Phoenix Wright games is kind of dumb. It is like, it is like that, those memes that went around where it's like, oh, like pick them up, like make a movie and every character is a Muppet except for one actor. That's it. Phoenix Wright is, a per is the person and everybody else is a Muppet. Phoenix Wright is Michael Caine playing the role completely seriously and everyone else is Muppets. Yeah, yeah, that's it. God, I watched Didn't Muppets they realize Christmas. he was an imposter? I watched Muppets Christmas Carol for the first time last Christmas, and it was- oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love that Michael Caine is so serious, but it's not out of place at all. No, it works perfectly. I love him. <laughs> anyway. Everyone has these big question marks on their faces. Like- like, for real? Did their faces turn into question yeah, marks? Yeah, like, their faces turned into question marks. This is an Ace Attorney game. That could happen. But it seemed that no one wanted to say anything, sir. They were all like, Phoenix, you're looking kind of funny today. Like, ah, uh, Phoenix, what big eyes you have. Oh, my God. All the better to see evidence with. All the better to see evidence with, my dear. Is apparently what Maggie says he sounds like. Yeah. <clears throat> This case, this case just keeps getting weirder and weirder. This is a bad time. Mr. Wright, do you think it's possible to get a retrial? Probably. Sorry, what were you going to say? No, I was just like, this case just keeps getting weirder and weirder. That was, that was the it. Oh, okay. The court ruled in the absence of a, yeah, probably. The court ruled in the absence of a genuine defense attorney. So we should be able to get a retrial. Mr. Wright? Mm hmm? You think we'll win next time, sir? No!